In past videos, I have talked about how load and unload options will be useful in customizing scene loading to your game type. Like much of the Flex Scene Manager content, all of this can be found in the README. However, you can always go to the class itself and as you see, everything has detailed descriptions as to what it does. We'll be starting with the load options, which are much more complex than the unload options. The first thing I want to point out is that these are system non-serialized. This information is not passed over to clients. All of these options are run on the server only. The first option we have is the automatically unload option. And this is true if to automatically unload the loaded scenes when they are no longer being used. This means if you tell Flex Scene Manager to load a scene and use automatically unload scenes as true in your load options, the scene will be unloaded on the server when no more players exist in the scene. While false, the scene will remain on the server even if there are no more players within it. If you were to set automatically unload to false, you can manually unload the scene later using Flex Scene Manager. The default value is true. You may want to use false if you want scenes to persist and run even while there are no players in them. Next, you have the load only unloaded option and by default, that is true. While true, you can only load scenes which are not yet loaded. When false, a scene may load multiple times. This is known as scene stacking and you have heard me talk about this several times in the past. If load only unloaded is true and you try to load a client into an already loaded scene, your server will recognize the scene is already loaded and tell your client to then load into it. When set to false, the server will generate a new instance of the scene and and load the clients into that new instance. You will possibly want to change the physics mode on the scene as well when allowing multiple instances. I'll talk about that in a moment. Also, if you are using scene stacking, which means setting load only unloaded to false, you can also specify the scene handle which to load clients into. This is not done in the load options, but whenever you specify which scene to load for the client. This allows you to load additional clients into an already stacked scene instance. I have examples of this in the demo folder. The next option is to remove player objects and this is default to true. While true, player objects which are not moved to a new scene will be automatically destroyed. For example, let's say you had your player and that player had a pet in the same scene. The player owns both of these objects. If you were to only transfer the player into the new scene, then the pet would automatically be destroyed. Only objects which contain a flex scene checker will be eligible to be destroyed. Next down is the local physics mode. This option generally only applies applies when using stack scenes. When set to values other than none, a physics scene is generated for the current scenes you are creating with Flex Scene Manager. I won't be talking about load physics modes in depth because this is a Unity feature and there is documentation on it. But in short, if you are stacking scenes which use physics, you'll need to use a physics mode other than none, otherwise objects will interact between stack scenes. Next is params. This has been moved to a new class called load params. The params under unload options have also been moved to unload params. There will be a video in the playlist covering these changes. As you see, the unload options are significantly less. The first one you have is the unload mode. The default behavior for this is unload unused. This will unload the scene if there are no more clients within it. While this behavior is automatic, if you specify to not automatically unload and you have to manually unload a scene, this is where the unload mode will come in handy. As discussed, unload unused will only unload the scene if there are no players in it. Keep unused will not unload the scene even if there are no players in it. You would use keep unused if you want to unload the scene for clients, but keep it active on the server even while there are no clients in it. This is similar to setting automatically unload to false. The key difference is that you may set the mode to keep unused to maintain the scene while unloading clients. Well, you may set automatically unload to false to prevent the scene from being unloaded should a client disconnect. Lastly, you have force unload. This will unload the scene even if clients are still within it. Using force unload will destroy any objects in that scene when unloading as you would expect. If players are being forcefully unloaded from a scene, the server will receive callbacks on the events letting you know. 